telling me to shuffle five times. What's that all about? The number five. Number five. Ooh, the number five is like conflict, a resolution. You know, because we got Pluto, Pluto's very mysterious. A very mysterious, very dark uh, planet. Death, sex, secrets, what is hidden. And I feel like because Pluto came out, it's like you're gonna be this free spirit, nudist hippie. Well, maybe not nudist, but you get what I'm saying. You're gonna be like a real free spirit, is what I'm saying here. Like, you're gonna go travel, is what I'm saying. That two of wands. Hello, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome back to the channel. Starcy Zayed here. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a reading for you guys, okay? This is your general predictions reading for 2022, the Stargate Portal. We're going to see what's going on for my Pisces Collective. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is timeless. Also, I advise everyone to read the disclaimer in the description box below, okay? I do believe in fate and destiny but i also believe in manifestation and the law of attraction and i do believe that on some level you can alter your reality so just bear that in mind personal reads are open the store has been restocked to do check out the readings okay do realize that they come in two or three to seven business days around there okay especially if there's a long line it's first come first serve so please be patient okay but if you're interested that is linked down below in the link tree link also you can pay through paypal and you can do payments for four to five payments something like that if you don't want to pay the full price right away anyhow with all that out of the way let's get started my beautiful pisces thank you so much angels ancestors spirit guides universe galactic beings ancient ancestors elders guide us in this general predictions reading for the year of 2022 the stargate portal my beautiful pisces the collective of pisces what messages do you have for them? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial knowledge. Thank you. You're telling me to shuffle five times. What's that all about? The number five. Number five. Ooh, the number five is like conflict, a resolution. Yikes. Who's card number five? Isn't that the emperor? I'm just starting to remember the card numbers. So do bear with me. Card number five. Card number five. That's the wheel. Oh, oh my god. No, wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. That's not the wheel. <laughs> take it back. Take it back. Card number five. Card number five is the higher font. I want to roll my dice first before I... Oh, they said roll the dice after. They said roll the dice after. They said it loud and clear. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you so much, angels and ancestors. Guide us in this reading. What messages do you have for my Pisces? Oh, four of wands. Oof. Yeah, when they said five times, then I was like, yeah, the number five can be a card of, you know what I was thinking too? Five of wands, which is a card of confrontation. Mm, yeah. I just heard divorce, so some of you could be divorcing. Wow, you can't make it up. Yeah, death and the king of cups. For some of you, you have... Okay, I never say bad news, right? Some of you have good news, and some of you just have better news, okay? I'm gonna be positive about this. Page of Cups at the bottom. There is... Okay, here, let me roll the dice first before I get into this. Oh, we have Virgo again. This just came out in the Tauros read. And it's so funny because they said number five... And number five is the higher front. Right? Card number five is the higher front. Bear with me. Yeah, the fool's number zero, magician number one, pre the high priestess number two, the empress number three, the emperor number four, number five, the higher front. 
yeah it's like they were telling me card number five the higher font and then i just did the tauros read and when i rolled the dice they got virgo cross watchers can resonate to other signs so definitely check out the tauros read because i feel like something similar is going on here let's roll the planet dice what do we have here i believe that's pluto don't quote me on it yeah, that's Pluto. Oof. Oof. Pluto. And Pluto rules over the Judgment card as well. And Judgment is Scorpio. And then we have Death there, which is Scorpio energy. So yeah, this is a very... Uh, this is a year of transformation. A lot of you are walking away from toxic family. Uh, you know, abusive family. An abusive marriage. A toxic marriage. Okay? You're walking away from that. You know, it's so funny you got Virgo, because here is Virgo, the Hermit, okay? So the Hermit is like, you're going your own way. You're going your own way. It's like you're going on the spiritual journey. There's an awakening here happening within you, Pisces, okay? I feel like this is really going to happen in the beginning of 2022 because I'm looking at the setting and it's like winter, it's dark, it's mysterious, right? It's cold. Um, it seems to be windy in the imagery. Yeah. Like, there is a separation here of some sort of family unit or relationship. I also see here two of wands and justice. Libra energy. I see here, like, this is the beginning of everything going back into balance in your life. I feel like that, you know, because we got Pluto, Pluto's very mysterious, a very mysterious, very dark uh, planet, death, sex, secrets, what is hidden, and I feel like because Pluto came out, I, I get, like, a lot of revelation, a lot of stuff is being revealed to you that you're really not going to be happy about, especially in regards to a lot of people in your life, okay, friends, family, this could even be a lover, which, you know, goes into death and the King of Cups. The good news is that for some of you, a connection is ending. And that's making way for something better, right? The better news is that if this was somebody that you were on and off with, okay? You felt a really strong connection to this individual. They are coming forward, okay? They're going through a transformation here with death. And it's like the Page of Cups is there. They're making an apology, okay? They are saying that they're sorry for how they treated you um, and that they want to make things right. They want this fresh new beginning, okay? If this is a twin flame, they are going through a transformation right now. I'm hearing be patient, okay? They are going through a transformation. You know, you, you change this person's life. Like, they're going through changes within. They're realizing that maybe they were not a great person towards you. They're going through a very dark night of the soul, especially with the Hermit energy. It's a very multi-level read. Very multi-level read. Um, I just sneezed, so I edited that out. But yeah, so I guess that's like winter. <laughs> you know, the cold, right? Brr. Um, yeah, Th this, there could even be like a legal thing, right? Some of you could be getting a divorce. Or you already are in a process or you already have. There could also be a battle here for if you have kids, right? There could be a battle here for custody over the kids. Some of you might close on a house. Others might... I see some of you just moving on, honestly. I see a lot of my Pisces just moving on. Doing something new. You know, it's almost like you're leaving behind that, that happy... The happy family, the white picket... Like, you're leaving that behind. You're going through a really, really spiritual... This is a really spiritual read, my Pisces. Holy crap, this is going to be the spiritual read out of all the signs. It's like you're going to be this free spirit, nudist hippie. Well, maybe not nudist, but you get what I'm saying. You're going to be like a real free spirit, is what I'm saying here. Like, you're going to go travel, is what I'm saying. That two of wands. Oh, what? Did I not say you're going to go travel? Look at that world card. It's like you're really going to be torn, but at the same time, you know that what was in the past didn't work for you. It's like you know that what happened in the past and the people you were around, it like no longer serves you. 
like you just know that you have to walk away and leave this behind. I also see the world in the Three of Swords, like, if you were dealing with a Twin Flame situation or, like, a soulmate, um, I see this as online communication. Like, they're definitely going to keep in touch with you as you go about your travels, okay? They're going to reach out with that apology. Um, and, you know, they're going to talk to you while you're doing this. They're going to talk to you. They might, for some of you, you might be joined by this person. It could even be, like, that you meet this person while traveling. You meet someone completely new. Um, and I do see, you know, because we got Pluto, which is a planet of sex, some of you may have sex uh, with this new person coming in, okay? I'm looking at that naked woman, and I'm looking at this uh, circle around her as like a mattress. So some of you could be uh, being intimate with someone, okay? With the Three of Swords there, it's definitely like your heart has been broken a lot. Yeah, Seven of Swords, like, you're tired of the lies, the games. Like, maybe you felt like a lot of people were just playing games, they were taking your kindness for weakness, and now you're just done with that. Yeah, the Empress. There could have also been a toxic parent here, mainly a mother, but it could even be a toxic father, or even a toxic sister, or brother. Um, you know, and maybe they were trying to steal money out of you, toxic grandmother as well, or daughter, for those of you that have kids that are older, right? Um... Like, you're cutting away all the toxicity. You're not playing games anymore, is what I'm seeing here. That's why Pluto's there, because Pluto, you know, it is a planet of death. You know? Yeah, Nine of Swords, like, you're you're done. You're done working on this. You're done trying to save situations that just aren't working. Like, you're done putting on in all this hard work, excuse me. You're just finished with it. Like... Sometime January to March, we're going to see the, you know, the climax. It's not a good kind of climax. I will say that. It's not a good kind of climax. What's at the bottom here? Yeah, the two of wands. Travel. But I also see here, like, online communication. You're walking away from a lot of people, but I feel like, for those of you that, like, you were ghosted by this individual. Um, you know, they weren't talking to you. They just left you out in the cold. And for a lot of you, this feels like a twin flame. They couldn't handle the feelings and the emotions that this connection brought, so they decided to walk away from you. I see here that this person's reaching out, apologizing, and I see they're going to be in contact with you while you're on these travels, and they might even join you. I also see here... Some of you are going to cross paths with um, two new people. Like, especially for those of you that are going on, like, a, a you know, a more free-spirited type journey, right? If you're going to, like, th those nudist places or, like, a vegan, you know, a vegan festival or something. Or you're doing the naked bike ride. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting here, like, a really free spirit. You know, you could be going to Woodstock or something. Um, like, the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Um, I'm just getting, like, this really free spirit like you're gonna do what you want to do i'm also seeing hawaii some of you could be traveling out to hawaii but i feel like regardless you're meeting a lot of people a lot of new people some of you could be traveling down to florida as well to the keys to key west some of you could be taking a trip to mexico or costa rica i'm getting a name i'm getting walter i'm also getting leslie rosie I'm also getting Cassidy. I'm also getting Francisco. Taylor. Jesse. Dominic. Nathaniel. Christian. I'm also getting Abel. I'm getting Nathaniel again. I'm getting Kevin. I'm also getting Jasmine, or Yasmin, or Jazz for short. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, it's like, there were people here wanting your money or, or something. Some of you haven't really. Yeah, yikes, the High Priestess. Page of Pentacles, yeah, some of you. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, there were people here that wanted your money. 
Um, they wanted your money, they wanted your income, or they wanted to financially abuse you. Okay, I can't lie, the cards are showing it here. And what I also see here is like, um, if you are going to court, there's going to be a huge battle over finances, over money, assets, okay? So yeah, it's going to be a, a little, you know, a little rough. Um, I wouldn't say rough, it's just going to be a little turbulent, you know? Keep a positive outlook, okay? And you will get a positive outcome. Look at that, the Two of Cups. So yeah, this is like you're meeting someone new in terms of romance, but for those of you that were waiting for that twin flame or that soulmate that ghosted you, they're coming in and having reconciliation with you, okay? Yep, the Fool. It, it, literally, it's like when you're, you're traveling, when you're doing you, when you're living your best life and you're free. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, when you're actually feeling your happiest. And you're making a lot of money, too. You're starting something online. Look at that. You can't make it up. That is when this person is approaching you, Pisces. That is when they're, this person is making their move. Now, this could also be representing a new individual. Right? The Two of Cups could be two people that you're dealing with. So, take it how it resonates. Two of Wands again. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're definitely going to be traveling for a bit. Yeah, Eight of Wands. But Two of wands that's my online communication and then you have the eight of wands which is communication it's also a very sexual energy as well um but that's what i was saying i feel like this person's going to be talking to you strength yeah some of you might be in a long distance relationship that is going to take a lot of strength to keep it going yeah i see you four of swords i see you and this person talking a lot at night before you go to sleep yeah you're you're living that single life okay i'm seeing that for a lot of my places you know, you're focusing on you, you're going up, you're focusing on your wealth, your money, you're putting yourself first. This was a very interesting read. Okay, I have to say, this was one of the more interesting ones. Let's see what we have, Spirit. Wow, we have that Empress card again, um, which is ruled over by Venus. So this is definitely a time period of self-love for you, but also I'm looking at the pregnant belly. So again, custody for children, do be careful. Some of you could be, if you're in a connection, you could be getting news that you're pregnant. Here we have the King of Wands. So a very passionate individual headed your way. Could be two or three people, but I'm mainly getting here for a lot of you. There is re reconciliation with that person that ghosted you. For a lot of you, I'm also seeing a new person that you're meeting while you're on your travels. Wow, you! I just got the chills. I just got the chills. Remember, they were like, shuffle the deck five times. And then I looked in the book, I was like, okay, card number five is the Hierophant, right? So we have the Knight of Cups here. Some of you could literally be getting married. Literally, Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. That's like a spiritual union. That's a divine union. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. Yeah, you're like you're done waiting for people. You're like, okay, whatever. You know, I'm not going to wait for them. I'm just going to move forward. Yeah, look. The <laughs> you can't even make it up. You get the chariot. Yeah. Like, you're not going to wait for people. You're like, oh, you know, if they want to come in, then I'll be here. They know where to reach me. But I'm living my life. That's what I get from you, Pisces. Three of Cups. So yeah, you could be like in a love triangle for those of you that are single. Um, but I also see here your angels are watching closely over this. I'm hearing awakening. Like this is a real spiritual awakening you're going through. Ten of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, like you, you know you need to move forward. You're no longer waiting. Also, you may have felt betrayed by a lot of people and you're just done you're done being kind you're done giving your energy to people and situations yeah business online entrepreneur you could be starting a business or you already have a business and it starts to take off 2022 or it already is taking off okay there is going to be some sad news rare gift so i'm saying here like For some of you, like, you're not going to be happy about these changes or, like, you're going to be doing these travels or these trips, but I do see here that it's going to be a time period of a lot of reflection. 
Okay, I do see here it may be emotional at times. Okay, you're a very sensitive sign. Um, you know, one that's very close to their emotions. So it's like, this may hit you hard at times. Like, having to walk away from a lot of people. Uh, you know, also regret, like, all the time that you spent. Maybe you helped these people. Maybe you gave them a lot of money. Um, so there is, like, a lot of regret there. Yeah, friendships. Yeah. So, like I said, a lot of people you're walking away from. And I feel like it's just sadness. Here we have divine timing. But there is something beautiful headed your way. A rare gift moon interesting because the moon and tarot is pisces the moon rules over cancer but a lot of people forget that the moon and tarot is pisces energy and it's like they're saying listen to your intuition listen to that listen to your gut instinct okay everything is going to happen in divine timing so it's very important to just take it one day at a time okay so that is your reading my beautiful pisces you have a special gift to offer to the world you need to make sure that you're sharing it you also have angel at the bottom. Your angels are watching over you, okay? Uh, you have a spiritual team watching over you. A, a large group watching over you. Too many to name. So do not worry. Everything is going to be fine. It's just a, a little shaky at first, okay? So do brace yourself. But that is your reading, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.